Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. We're gonna head back up to our main street for the evening so we can see the updates. So yay, now we have the TNT Mart. We also have, um, oh my gosh, this is still not here. Why does this take so long? Okay, well I guess we don't have that, but we do have our little flower shop at least that has been refilled for the day. And I want to run into Nook's homes really quick. Can I speak? No. Anyway, I want to run into Nook's home. Ooh, there's a pink door. Ugh, there's my voice not functioning. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the pink arch. What? $4,000 for a door? Come on, dude. Um, This mailbox is pretty cute, too. I can't remember what my mailbox is, though. I know I had it updated. Oh, the mermaid fence. So cute. Okay, fine. We're leaving. Oh my goodness. Talk about a rough start. My voice was just like, let's not work. Let's not work anymore. Okay. So fun fact, the TNT Mart is, I believe, open later than any other Nookling upgrade. And obviously, oh, that's so cute. It's obviously, um, open later than whatever the heck we just had. Nookling Junction. I couldn't remember the name of it. Oh, this music! Oh, nice. We get this tall dresser now. Or closet. I, this freaking tumbleweed. Why do you have to sell things we've already gotten? Okay, so we can now buy wallpaper and carpet. Oh, but we get a kind of crappy one. Alright, show me. Except it does have cats all over it. That is the one good part about it. Ah, uh, it doesn't really go with what we're doing though. Like, I mean, I don't really know what we're doing. We're just doing like a basic house. A classic house. Not really, because we're not going for the classic furniture, but you know what I mean. With dat green and blue carpeting. Do I want that? Uh, no. Well, you know what, Timmy? You have crap. So, anyway, this is new. This is our catalog. We can finally access this. And I can show off the items that we got from having Happy Home Designer data. So, anyway, you have five different options plus a search option. So, you have home goods. This consists of furniture, wallpaper, carpet, and... What the heck is this? Ah, th this is the stuff. This is... This is the fierceness we were looking for. Uh, <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god. A giant ant. Just what everybody wants in their house. So anyway, all of these giant pieces of furniture are exclu- <laughs> Um, they're all exclusive pieces from having Happy Home Designer data. And most of them make- absolutely no sense. Oh man, massive cake. Oh man, a mountain. Mountain of money. This is all like the weirdest stuff. Like who- I want to know who came up with it. Teacup ride. Tent. <laughs> oh my god, these are all the best. Okay, so I do want to buy one of these today. Um, I want to buy the- probably the massive cake for our party in the bathroom. What else could- <laughs> I can't get over it. Uh, what else could be good for a party in the bathroom? Probably like none of these actually, but the carriage is super cute. We could have like a Cinderella room. But I don't want to get too carried away just yet because we don't even have more than one room as is. I need to go to the island on my own and get some more money. Um, but anyway, let's see. Let's go back to our catalog and just see all this nonsense that we've collected in fast motion. Okay, anyway, we're, we're done with that. Um, you can also purchase clothing and you have just about every option. You have t-shirts, shorts, uh, dresses, hats, um, eyewear, or just accessories, really. Um, oh, my shoes and socks that I threw away immediately and I've been barefoot ever since. And then our umbrellas, all three of which 
I still own. So anything you purchased previously or obtained previously is going to appear in your catalog. We have no music thus far. And oh, yes, you can also um, go through your... I forgot about this, actually. You can go through your gyroid data. You can't buy these, though. There are certain things in the catalog that will be on display, but you cannot purchase, such as these two um, categories. For obvious reason. I mean, that would just be too easy. And then you have stationery. And we've had nothing but incredibly boring stationery. <laughs> we need to send more letters to people, honestly. I want to show off a couple more tools. This is the slingshot. I absolutely hate carrying this in my pocket because it takes up space for no reason, 99% of the time. But you can, um, no, I don't need to be taught how to use this. Uh, you can shoot packages out of the air whenever they're floating by and get balloon furniture, which is pretty fun. That might actually be good for a party in the bathroom. And then you can also purchase medicine. Now you can use this on a bee sting if you get stung by a bee and... You don't want to reset, because if you save and quit and then reload your game, you won't have a bee sting anymore. But if you'd rather be quicker about it, you can just use that. There will also be times when your neighbors are sick, so um, if you bring them medicine, they will reward you. And they'll be sick for like days. This game is really um, kind of brutal when it comes to that. Okay, I'm going to take some paper so we can get some gifts to neighbors. And do I want to... what kind of... is this a ranch? Yeah. Okay, I don't really want to do ranch furniture. I'm trying to go for the regal set for the living room right now. So, we'll just stick with that for now. We bought the massive cake, so I'm happy. But I believe this um, TNT, I believe it stays open until 11. Oh shoot, we missed the flower shop by like literally a couple minutes. Oh well, that's okay. We still have stuff um, to do regardless of planting flowers. I for I totally forgot to do this yesterday, so I'm gonna point it out today. As you can see, I put my dress on display that I am wearing, my cotton candy dress, and um, yeah, if you go up to any of these items, <laughs> this is uh, designed by someone from any town, it's called shirt. Anyway, if you um, go up to any of these items, and just press A. Mabel will be like, hey, here's the info on this. You can say either I want it, display my design, or just looking. Um, if you say I want it, you can replace one of your designs with this design. So she'll ask you if it's okay. And then you just pick a place to hold that new design. Now this is that freaking button down shirt that people are wearing. I didn't even realize that was a pattern. Are you serious? These guys have been coming in here and wearing shirt? No. Okay, so also if you want to display your design, you just hit display my design and then she'll give you a couple options. She will say... Okay, I guess I'll just display the same thing over this dumb shirt. So, um, she will give you the option to either uh, trade designs. So if you want to display that design and save whatever's currently there, you can. Um, or you can just erase it completely. So now we've got two of these dresses on display. How cute the bunny shirt is in here today along with this kimono. We can be super duper Asian so why don't we go ahead and buy this and then um, let's go ahead and buy the bunny shirt too. There's a lot of cute stuff in here today. You don't need to talk to Sable anymore. She's not going to reward you. She's just gonna ask you if you want to use the sewing machine so no need to talk to her. I don't think that's a be cute with a bunny shirt. Let's try this on. Bunny shirt and the skirt. Yes, very cute. Love it. Okay, uh, let's go over here and see what is for sale accessory wise and then we need to head back in town because I have a couple things to show off there as well. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with anything in here. Unimpressed label. I'm unimpressed. Oh, they stopped working. I was like, when do they stop working on this thing? Because it's been going off for a while. Okay, well, good thing we caught Nook's Homes before it was too late. Before it closed. I didn't realize it was that close to 8 o'clock. I'm like, oh, everything's closing. Um, so first of all, on the board, I already read these announcements, but I'll show them to you guys. So 
TNT Mart grand opening. Yay. So it basically announces whenever there's a grand opening um, to something on Main Street. And fundraising notice. I put in another public works project. I put in for a third bridge. And that is down on this corner. Um, yes, over by Beardo's house. Oh, hello. Tammy wants to talk to us. Dude, I heard the craziest thing. What? Um... All right, well... What are you... You're moving? You're not allowed to move! You just moved here! No! Don't do it! <laughs> Seriously? Why do all the cute ones want to move out? Not allowed. We're going to see Beardo. So I donated... I think the bridge is what? 128,000... Oh! Friends are over! Yeah, so it's like 128,000. I think I donated 28,000, so anything beyond that, neighbors have donated. Let's talk. Oh man, Katrina's here. We gotta go see her. Now you wanna see Kar Karina. Katrina every single time she's in town because that is how you unlock probably the hardest building to get on Main Street, so... Want to be sure to talk to her every single time. If you have multiple characters in town, then that really makes it uh, move more quickly. You can have four characters in your town. I don't think I've ever pointed this out, but like in Wild World, you all had to live in the same house. This game, you don't. You each get your own house. Oh, have I shown this off yet? You each get your own house and um, you can play with each character to speed things along. I mean, that might be kind of cheating, but whatever. Um, sometimes it's necessary if you really, really want to progress quickly. Uh, by the way, mosquitoes can bite you. Itchy, itchy, itchy! <laughs> Whenever I leave my 3DS just on while I'm doing something in the summertime, this always happens. I come back and this stupid music is playing. I'm like, god dang mosquitoes. It doesn't show or anything though. What? Today's advising hours are over! You're a fortune teller! Why would you- Fine. Whatever. I guess we're not going to talk to her. Everything closes at 8. It's not fair. I'm going to dig up this... Um, no. I'm going to dig up this fossil. Okay, so... Anyway. Oh yeah, I was going to see how much has been donated. Um, so far... Ooh, somebody donated 357 bells! All right, I'm not gonna do anything this time. I will later, but I'll probably just pay off the whole thing later, so I'm not gonna worry about it right this second. Um, yay, look at this! We have a camper in town at our campground that we built! I'm so excited! We get to finally show this off! Or I shouldn't even say finally, we already get- <gasps> No, it's a bear! <gasps> oh my gosh, Groucho! <laughs> I didn't do any research or anything before choosing a place to camp. I think I lucked out. Oh, you have your like twister shirt on. I love it. Oh man, for that my my neutral wall. Oh yeah, that's the crap that Sahara gave me. Or oh, wait, is he go is he going to give it to me? I oh wait, no, he wants to give me a neutral wall. All right, let's do it. So anyway, if you visit a camper, it's very much like in the original Animal Crossing when you'd go visit um, somebody in an igloo. They will play these little games with you for items and give you bells and have you sell them things out of your pocket. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and have him explain the rules. Here are the rules. I got nine cards with numbers one through nine. Shuffle them up real good and then you pick one at random and... I, I don't really know. We're just gonna go for it. I don't like reading, so... Don't like reading rules! Alright, alright, alright! Um, first card is five. Let's go higher. Uh... Ooh! We did it! Oh. Um... Okay. I'm gonna say it's lower. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go lower one more time. 
No, why did I do it? Ah! 3,578 bells, dude! You run a hard bargain for this freaking wallpaper that's probably not good at all. This sounds like Bowser music in the background. What the heck is this music? Oh, it won't tell me, no! Alright. Oh man, you love those cherries, though. No, I don't- Um, no, you're not gonna take my net? Not right now. Uh, well, I don't care. I don't want to sell my net to you for anything. No! Okay, I'm just gonna keep saying no until he's like, I might move to this town, because if you keep talking, then they will eventually be like, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should move here. Yeah, you should. If you do, I think- Oh! He's gonna move! I'm so excited! Oh! <laughs> Oh, yay! We get Groucho! We have two bears now! Oh man, I'm so excited. You can have a max of 10 villagers and he's gonna be our ninth, so... That makes me super duper happy. And we're gonna call it an- Oh no, what are you doing here? We're gonna talk to Caesar and then call it an episode, so... Alright, what's up? Wanna chat? I know this is a bad habit. What? When I see a vintage telephone, I gotta buy? I'm taking a picture of that. Mmm. Yeah, you are a shopaholic because... Wait, you- uh, we saw this in your house! I'm buying it from him. I'm gonna take all of his furniture, slowly but surely. <laughs> I don't care if it's overpriced. I'm, I'm taking it. I just want to see what he replaces it with. Oh, man. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed more Big Pimp, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out, guys.